everything that's going on um, and share with you uh, seven steps that I've come up with um, to recession proof your business um, when stocks are shooting down, the economy doesn't look too great. Um, so we'll dive into that um, in a second. I will uh, I'll wait for a few people to hop online, um, but we'll go through all seven steps and uh, and I'll also share with you some tips, tricks, things that I'm using um, uh, to keep everybody engaged or to capitalize on the um, to capitalize on um, the uh, new eyeballs that are going to be in the online space since a lot of people are going to be let go from their jobs. Um, and there's going to be a lot more people entering the space looking to make money online, um, looking for help growing their business online um, and all of that. So luckily, a lot of us are in a good industry to be in right now. Um, and I want to go over like the best way to support your tribe and become the leader of your tribe so you can be there um, and really capitalize on this situation um, instead of um, just kind of being a... Uh, I don't know what the right word is, but uh, victim to it. I don't know if that was the right word. Maybe I totally fucked that up. Um, but uh, let's see anybody online right now. Let's see. Any of you there? Comment down below if you're live with me right now. If not, I'm just talking to myself. I don't even see this in my group. That's weird. Anybody home? Oh, there we go. We got 13 people, just nobody talking. Um, so we'll go over that. Funny thing first, I've been waiting for this for two months now. Uh, this is one of those maps where you put a pin in wherever you've traveled and stuff. I was hoping to put a lot more pins in that map, but I'm not going to travel under the current circumstances. So kind of ironic that I've been waiting two months. And it finally fucking shows up. And there it is. Yeah, that's life. Um, but question for you all. Uh, there we go. All right, here for it, brother. Awesome. I love it. Let me uh, let me click on here to make sure I can see all the comments. Let's Joey, what's up? up? Uh, Joey, my man. Thanks for the comment. Um, first things first. Um, we're looking to donate money um, because there is a lot of hurt in this world right now. We want to help out. Uh, wherever we can help out. Um, I am looking at uh, nursing homes because uh, if you guys don't know, I used to be a server at a retirement home for five years. Um, so I love the elderly um, and really want to get back there because it's a really, really scary time for them right now. Um, and then also looking at um, individual families. Um, so we'd love your guys' recommendations on where we can donate money to help the most. Um, so if you guys have anything in mind or have been thinking of anything, um, we're looking to uh, either donate $10,000, um, like either uh, $1,000 to each family, um, to 10 families, something like that. Um, or we're looking to do a promotion for Group Growth and Monetization Blueprint where all the proceeds would go to... Um, would go to whatever we donate to. Um, so those are the two things. But I would love for the 22 people that are here live now or on the replay, um, would love your ideas of where we could donate money to help out the most. Um, because one of my biggest goals is to donate a million dollars before I turn 30. Uh, by the end of this year, I should have donated, I will have donated over $100,000. Uh, so we'll be a little off track, but I hope it's exponential and not linear. So um, if you guys have any ideas of who we should donate to in this time, uh, I would love for you guys to pop it down below. Um, where I'm leaning is to individual families um, who are struggling because of layoffs, uh, because of this time, or because of illness, what have you. Um, but if there are any individual families that you know of, um, or any organizations, I would love to hear it. Just pop it in the comments down below. Um, that would be amazing, um, super duper helpful. Okay, so with that being said, we'll hop right into it. 
Uh, if any of this is helpful at any time, um, if you have any questions at any time, drop them down below in the comments. Uh, would love to help. But we're going to go over the seven simple steps to recession proof your business. Hit that heart button, hit that like button right now or whenever you get value throughout this video. It helps the algorithm um, and more people reach and more people we can help. Um, so let's just jump into it. All right. Did I get, I need to show this on screen. All right. And along the way, I'd love for you to share what your number one takeaway was on this. So these are the seven steps to recession proof, recession proofing your online business. Um, let's just hop right into it. Number one is keep marketing. So you have a business, it's really, really easy to contract in these times, but this is really where the riches are made, um, is when other people are contracting, you should at least stay the same, if not expand. So putting if, if you don't have the money to put into advertising, that means putting more time into getting your face out there, partnering up, um, and getting your message out there. And do not let up. Do not wait for the clouds to pass. Because if you, uh, what's a good analogy, fight through the clouds or whatever, um, you will come out the other side so much better. And uh, I forget what I was watching the other day, but they just put up all these logos of businesses that made a killing through recessions and depressions. And that's really where the big companies have been made. So um, right now is a great time to get ahead while your competition is contracting. This is where you should expand or stay the same. This is a great time to double down on the marketing efforts and come out the other side on top. So do not stop your marketing. Super duper crucial. Number two, develop shorter term sales goals. So what I mean by this is things are moving and changing so fast. It's better to focus just one step ahead of you in these times where things are changing. So set 30 day sales goals, monthly sales goals, um, set one for March. If you don't have one yet, uh, you should, um, but uh, April 1st or before April 1st, make sure that you have your April sales goals. Um, uh, and make sure that you're setting them every single month, you and your team, and do at least 60 minutes of sales cultivation activities per day. Super duper important um, to have a sales goal uh, for the month right now uh, and do those sales cultivation activities. So Messenger for one, my main thing is Messenger. We're really, really good at uh, converting in Messenger. Um, so that is our number one uh, sales cultivation activity, right? So from there, track expenses carefully. So right now, it's super duper important to know what how much cash is going out each day and how much cash is coming in. You can create up a simple, uh, simple Google Sheet where you just track each day how much has come in, um, how much has gone out. And then at, uh, at the beginning or at the end of each day, you track that and every single day. So you are super clear on your numbers um, and you're super clear on your goals. And if you're gonna hit your goal or if you're off, what have you, but it's super important to right now, track your expenses. And on top of that, if you have softwares that you're not using or anything like that, trim the fat right now. It's super important for anything that you're not using and isn't giving you an ROI, um, it's super important to trim the fat right now. Um, and if you want to find those softwares, just go through your bank statements, or there's also an app called uh, Clarity Money. Um, will actually track what is coming out of your bank account each month. And there's actually a section inside of the app called Clarity Money um, that will tell you uh, what your monthly subscriptions are. Um, and it will actually take you to a website or provide you with a phone number to cancel that subscription. Pretty cool. Number four is improve communication with your clients. This is crucial. I just had a state of the union call uh, with my seven figure CEO clients um, to check in, see how they're doing, seeing what business challenges they're struggling with. And I went over these uh, seven steps with them in addition to some marketing strategies 
Um, and we actually had one client uh, make uh, $5,000 collected new today uh, from one of those strategies uh, that I'd been sharing before the call. Um, so uh, it's super important to right now check in, especially with your, your clients that pay you the most money. Um, do more one-on-one -on -one calls with them. Um, uh, you can do State of the Union calls uh, biweekly or monthly, however you want to set that up but better understand their biggest business challenges. This will help you help them. And on top of that, it will help you with your marketing uh, in these times. So super important. Um, number five is add value and an offer and offer a premium retention offer. What I mean by that um, is you should constantly be adding value uh, to your programs, but right now is time to double down and really keep your clients around as long as they'll stay around. So if you only have a three month, three month coaching program or you just have a course, you need to add a premium retention um, offer or program as, as I call it. So this is six to 12 months um, that uh, helps you bring in monthly recurring revenue that will give you an enormous peace of mind um, because it covers all my expenses and then some uh, from monthly reoccurring revenue. So I'm not starting from zero every single month. And the clients that love you the most will stay with you the longest. So give them the option to hop into this premium retention program um, or, or an offer where they can continue working with you. Super duper important to have uh, in this time. Number six is invest in your own skills and network. This is always true, but it's especially true now. People can take away like your money. My money can go away. My investments can go away. But one thing that uh, nobody can take away from me are the people that I know and the skills that I have. That's why me and everybody else that's built up seven, eight, nine billion dollar business is saying I could start from zero and get back there because they built up the skills and the network for them to be able to get back to where they currently are if they lose everything. So what's more important than money and more important than, um, than investments and all of that is your skills that you develop in yourself and the people that you know. So super important um, and really learning the money-making skills right now will help you uh, have more cash on hand. So if you wanna invest in real estate or the stock market right now when things are low, great opportunity to do that. Then number seven is considering teammates. Uh, one good thing about uh, a bad, bad economies is A players are now um, starting to become on the market. This is super duper important. So if you're looking to expand your team, this is a great time to do it. Um, if you don't have the cash on hand right now, but maybe you have the community, you have the lead flow, look at sales reps right now. I'm bringing on a sales rep that you pay on commission. So they, you only pay them for what they kill, right? So um, sales rep could be your first best option. And um, for me, I hired an ops manager that was in the restaurant industry and doing operations there. And he has been my best hire, one of my best hires to date. So just know that people might be losing jobs in one industry and might wanna move to the online space. So this is a great opportunity to get somebody who is really, really, really smart um, and just looking for a job. Um, so yeah, uh, those are my seven steps to creating a recession-proof business. I'd love for you guys, Paul's actually here, Paul's the one that I hired, um, but I'd love for you guys to uh, share some uh, questions. I'd love to help you out on whatever you got going on right now. Um, I've got uh, I've got plenty of time to help you. Um, and if you have any questions or what was your number one takeaway, drop it in the comments down below. I will be here to help you guys out. Ellie Aaron says, you the best. Thank you so much, Ellie. Thank you, homegirl. Congrats on the new clients. Just heard about that today. Tom, love the arms. Awesome. Yeah, so drop your questions down below. I'm here to help. Like I said earlier, I got this map and now I can't put pins on it uh, because I don't have anywhere to travel and can't travel. 
Um, we bought a lot of food today, we bought $500 worth of food, mostly like non-perishable stuff, like cans and frozen food. And it gave me a lot of peace of mind because uh, we're good for months and months and months to come. Uh, Guy says I missed one through five. It's on my uh, personal profile if you want to read through it. Um, and also we'll have the replay going here. Uh, sorry about that, brothers. Um, but right now is, I mean, don't get sick, but it's, uh, it's a good time to run an online business because there is so much more attention coming to this space over the next six months. People are going to be looking for ways to make money. Um, if you run, if you're an online business coach, this is a great, great time to be an online business coach or start learning the skills. Um, uh, super duper amazing um, industry to be in right now. Um, Ashlyn, what is up? Recommendations for those who are just starting their online coaching business. I have been a stay-at-home mom. I love it for, sorry, it won't, won't let me read the rest of that. Um, but starting your own, uh, uh, your online coaching business. Um, the best way to start um, is to find a coach, a uh, business coach that knows their shit and that can help. If you don't have the money for that right now, um, I recommend diving into books and free resources. So we have the um, we have the five day group growth and engagement challenge inside the group here. It's in the unit section. I would go through that. Um, and really, what you need to know for business is simply different departments. And usually, it's best to start out by owning one department. So what I mean by that is you have marketing you have sales, you have operations, you have delivery, and you have like so many other, like customer service can fall under operations, but own a department. A lot of people online own marketing or own sales, or uh, a lot of them own delivery or operations. Um, the majority of people online teaching right now own a certain department. So like my thing used to just be marketing, 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 now we teach the whole gamut. We teach marketing, sales, operations, delivery. Usually the easiest way to start as a business coach is helping people get more leads and help close, help them close those leads because that's a direct correlation to, um, uh, to the bottom line, right? Um, but there is a huge need in this space for better operations managers um, and uh, better, uh, course creators in, in how to deliver coaching. Kind of a harder thing, but it's gonna become a bigger and bigger and bigger need um, as this industry grows. So buy books. My favorite way to learn things outside of, co uh, outside of uh, coaching and mentorship and all of that is simply to identify what I wanna get better at. Put up a post on Facebook saying, hey, who like, let's take operations for example like who knows the best books on business operations or what's the best book you've read on business operations and going go to a group facebook group that you trust or putting on your personal profile and then um go on amazon buy all those books and i don't read books like sentence by sentence by sentence i i just take a book the book has a framework in it Usually the framework is broken down into chapters. So I'll take the book, I'll look at the chapters and how it's broken down. I'll go to the most important chapters. I'll try to put in, in I'll skim read. And all I'm trying to do is extract that framework and put it in my brain. And then I have the book if I ever need to go back to it. But the only thing that I'm trying to get out of books is a, a good understanding of frameworks, right? and how I can view the world in a different way through that framework. Um, and then my decision-making process and how I convey and how I teach things uh, become that much better when I learn that framework. 
So a um, nice, easy way to do it is figure out what the books, best books are on that specific thing. Buy those books, pull out frameworks. Cool. Hope that was helpful. Josh, Josh says, hey, cutie. Thanks, brother. My hair is like, I can't get a haircut for like probably maybe a month. My girlfriend's going to love it because it's long hair, but like, I'm going to look like an asshole. Um, I did a Facebook groups masterclass with Grant, which was awesome. So I'm implementing all of that. It's a great way to, a great, great start. Like just building your audience helps you, it's like an insurance policy. Like just build up your audience and you will never be poor. Um, and you don't need to be an expert. You just need to solve people's problems and document your journey. Um, and you will build up your audience. I love that. A uh, guy says, be safe. Where are you at these days? Also, do you feel like it's hard to get retainer business these days? Uh, we have signed up three 30K clients in the past week, um, retainer. Um, so it, it, it will get more difficult, I'm assuming. Um, it's... Uh, for those clients that love you, it's so important to have something like that. Um, so, yeah, it probably will get more difficult, for sure. Uh, Josh said, yo, want to do another in my group. People want you back. Josh, I'm down. I'm so down. Have your girlfriend cut it at home? <laughs> no, I used to, I cut my own hair for... 12 years or something. I don't know why, because I would buzz cut it and it looks so bad. Like messy hair looks so much better. Raul, what's up, man? Daniel, here to answer any and all of your questions. Ashlyn, I love that question. Thank you so much. Keep bringing them out. I'm here to support you guys. This is a great opportunity to get support. Greg, I love your face. I think, Greg, I think we should just bring you and Sandra in here one day and just do some tapping and healing and all that good stuff. If you guys would be into it. Um, I, I asked a question at the beginning of this and surprisingly didn't get any responses. Um, I We're looking to donate at least $10,000 to something to help this cause. And I would love anybody that's watching right now or the replay, just like shoot ideas down below of where we could where we can donate to make the biggest impact. Um, yeah, would love that was the main reason why I hopped on this live and nobody gave any feedback. <laughs> oh, that's funny. All right, Josh. I'll shoot you a PM. Um, we'll do a training in your group. I'm down for that. It sounds great. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to hop off. If there are any more questions on live, I bet like all nine of you are probably on the can right now and just can't get to the phone to type any of your questions. Uh, schools, so they can continue offering food to kids. Love it. The schools, the schools, yeah, I need to look into that. I think the schools are shut down right now, like majority of them. I love it. Uh, guy says, thank you. Is there an opportunity to get back to basic blogging and indexing articles, or is there too much focus on COVID-19? Uh, I mean, you could definitely blog if you love blogging. I just don't know how to grow a blog. <laughs> Um, but, uh, if you can help people through this time, um, create content around that and you can use the keywords like COVID-19, coronavirus, recession, what have you don't do it in a malicious way by any means. But if you can intertwine that with your content and genuinely help people, I would do that for sure. Ashlyn, thank you so much for the recommendation. Um, that's another big thing. I see a lot of people 
out there using this to their like to incite fear and kind of that marketing like jolt um those people are assholes fuck them i'll just say it out man. uh yes but the kids on free Ooh, i like that if they're ashlyn if you find a link or anything uh, on that, that that I could possibly learn more about it, please please shoot it over my way. Um, any of you guys, if you have any links to something that I could donate to to make a huge impact um, with everything that's going on right now, I would love, love, love to read up on it. It's the main reason why I'm doing this live right now. I need suggestions. But, uh, cool. Um, don't see any more questions. I love your faces. Stay safe. Um, if you guys missed the seven steps, come back, watch it. The replay will be available. If you got any value out of this, smash that heart button, smash that like button, and I'll see you guys in another Facebook Live.